Hey guys, it's Miss Kerwin. So we're gonna go over the last type of problem that you will see this week, which just says how many cubes would fit in these boxes. And I'll show you a picture that looks like this, something like that. And you'll see that the top of the box is black because it's like an open box. So I don't know if you're like me, but I have a hard time visualizing stuff. Like, I don't know. So I got some cubes here and we're gonna actually figure it out. So I see that there are four boxes right in the front. So I'm gonna make four boxes that would fit to cover the front of this box. They would fit right in there, one, two, three, four. But then I see back here, there's another row. I'm gonna be able to do a whole other row right behind it. So that would make this a total of eight boxes. So if my answer here would be eight cubes fit in this box. There's no extra layers or stories, so we're done right there. Now I'm gonna try this one. This time I see three cubes in the front of the box. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. But I see again, it's got another row back there, so that's also gonna have to be three. I gotta get some more cubes out here. Okay, so there would be three more behind it. Oh my gosh, I keep getting the camera off the what I'm doing here. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so that would be it for this one because there'd be three cubes in the front row and then three cubes in the back row and there's no other layers on top. So your answer here would be six cubes fit in this box. Let's try these bigger ones. Do not be scared. So again, in the front, I see there's four boxes. So I'm gonna line up that bottom layer and pretend that these are going right inside the box. Oh, geez, I keep panning my camera away from you guys. But... I know that there is another row behind it. So if I was gonna finish the base here, I would want to do another row behind it. Oh, geez, Louise. They're not going perfect. Okay, so that would be like the base of my box for this one. How many do we have here, guys? Four, eight, right? So we have eight total, but I'm not done yet because this time I have another layer or another story. So I'm gonna add more right to the top and I'm gonna make them go perfectly on top of each other. Now, some of you might be able to do this mathematically and go, well, Miss Kerwin, if the bottom layer had eight, then the top layer is also going to have eight. And that is correct. You will see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight here and there's eight on the bottom layer. So eight plus eight, that'd be 16. All right, let's do our last one. Again, if I look across here, I see that there's three right out in front. So I'm gonna get some cubes out and I'm gonna go one, two, three. And then if I look behind it to get the total base, I see there is another row. So I'm gonna put three more right behind it because that would fill up like the bottom of the box or our base. But we're not done yet because now I see this one has another layer on top. So I know I'm gonna need six more cubes right on top of that guy. So I'm gonna put them like this. Can you tell I like to do alternating colors? Yeah, I do. Again, some of you might be able to do this mathematically and just go, well, Ms. Kerwin, if the bottom layer has six and the top layer has six, then I already know my answer. But here it is right here. We can see that we've got our six here and our six on bottom. So that means this box would fit 12 cubes.